some of the keys to a happy marriage and what are some of the biggest mistakes that a lot of couples out there make. Here with us is an expert here in the Fox 32 studio. We're talking about family law attorney Mitch Gordon from Bradford and Gordon. Thank you so much for joining us. We kept talking in the commercial <laughs> break, so we already know where this is going. You say, of course, a lot of people have spending, a lot of brides and grooms to be have been spending months getting ready for their June wedding. You want to talk to people before because so many times you talk to people after things have gone south. For sure, and it can save you a lot of time, a lot of heartache if you start making certain plans before the wedding. And I know it's not the most romantic thing in the world to say let's talk about our divorce while, while shopping for flowers in a band. Right. But it helps lay out some expectations, it helps you communicate and put things out on the table. So some of the issues, some of the big issues that you say we need to talk about. First on the list, before you say I do, money. You gotta spend some time having that tough conversation about the finances. Talk about money. You know, I see a lot of people who get to me, they fight about money, the marriage broke down over money. Lay out your expectations. Is one of you a spender? Is one of you a saver? Do you want to save for retirement? Do you want to save for your kids' education? Or do you want to spend every penny you have? Do, you know, so long as you're on the same page. And should you divulge the fact that I have a, I have an account, I have a secret account that I even keep away from myself, I, where it's, yeah. I can't get to it. Should you tell your, your mate about that account? Absolutely. Then you're just being honest. There's no surprises. Full disclosure. Secret accounts, the, oh, I, I have some money sitting here that I never mentioned, <laughs> makes people oh, mad. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay, and you're saying too, the second thing, communication is key. You have to communicate. Um, you know, some people, they yell, they scream, some people shut down and brood. You're not solving any problems, and things will just get worse the worse your communication is. Drop your ego drop whatever insecurities you have and talk to your partner. And fighting over the kids. That's after the fact, right? Or, well, a lot of people Some, do fight over the before. kids. <laughs> but it's all, you know, that's something you can lay out beforehand. What religion are you gonna raise the kids? What are your thoughts on, on discipline, on education? And, you know, those are sometimes uh, well laid plans that go, that are different when you have kids. But be open, be honest, put it out there, what you think. So before you say, well, we had three kids with one another and they are a strict disciplinarian right. and I'm not, maybe you got that out on the table. Okay, and the most surprising thing that you have out of, the, out of the top five is cheating. You should have that conversation you say before. Like this is a, this is a deal breaker for me. Yeah, well I see, you know, some people, you know, they have different expectations in their marriage. You know, a lot of times cheating, you know, happily married people generally don't cheat. Right. So they come to me already with the we had an affair, you know, he had an affair, I had an affair, whatever the case may be. Mm -hmm. Because generally, happily married people don't, don't have that affair. Some people would say different, though. Some people would say, I cheat, and that's what makes it such a happy, I, I, <laughs> what makes us a happy couple. <laughs> I once had somebody in a prenup try and ask me to negotiate how many people uh, they could sleep with until the divorce happened. No way. I told them I wasn't No married. way. Yeah. But you, it's amazing, and we should tell people, you've been married for 10 years, happily married, of course, but you say you learn a lot from your clients. Sure, Because Absolutely. they come in arguing with you, and you're like, I'm not gonna do that one. They come in, you know, some people, they come in and they're reasonable, they just didn't work out, we fell out of love, and that's okay. And some people act, you know, unreasonably, yeah. and are out for, for blood, and that's not okay, you know, that, you get what you pay for in that regard. Exactly, so before I let you go, tell me, so out of the issues that we just mentioned there, what can people do to avoid some of that stuff? You know, you, you have to be open, be honest, lay out your plan before you get married. Sometimes that comes by way of a prenuptial agreement. It lets you have these hard conversations beforehand. What are we gonna do with money? What are we gonna do with uh, our assets? How are we gonna spend? And then you're having these conversations when you're getting along. Exactly, because that's when you can get that prenup sell, uh, signed. That's right. Nobody has a problem with that. And I love also how you say, Mitch, go ahead and get counseling before and after, I mean, before and during the marriage. Sure, that's right. And you make know, sure it's a marriage and not just a wedding. It, it, that, that's right, you know, when the honeymoon is over, real life settles in mm -hmm. and people, there's jobs, there's family pressures, there's kids, and so, when you got when you, when you got off the beach uh, from your honeymoon, you're in the real world. You're in real life, and 
you know, a lot of people can benefit from a little bit of counseling. All right, Mr. Gordon. If people want more information about what to do, what not to do, before the before jumping the broom and saying I do, what's your web address? Um, it's bradfordandgordon.com. Um, the and is spelled out. You can find me there. They're going to be calling you. Thank you so much. Always good <laughs> to see you. Thanks for having me. Appreciate it. It is time for us to take a break. It's 1230. Bill Bellis is back with a